watching Fraser Focus, local faces and local places. As you can see, we are in Langley today and we're going to check out some curling, some championships. But these guys, well, they are on wheels. 2019 uh, BC Wheelchair Championships. It's our second year actually. We hosted last year so we're fortunate enough to do it again this year. Langley's always encouraged the growth of wheelchair curling. Um, we're happy to say that we have uh, increased our wheelchair curlers to five that play within our regular league play um, during the week uh, which makes it really great. We're still trying to um, you know grow that side of the curling and stick curling and encouraging people to get out no matter what. Yeah, that's the problem. We don't have huge numbers of players yeah. in all our communities, so we have to kind of put the, the, the players together to form the team. This is yeah. our, uh, this is our first, first time, time thing together. This was my uh, first winter in oh. wheelchair. Wow. I was an able body curler years ago. All right. And then uh, since my uh, issue, I started uh, wheelchair curling. It takes a little bit of practice and a little bit of going over. The game is still the same. We just don't have sweepers. They yeah, cheat. they they totally <laughs> We have to be much better with our weights than, say, able body sweepers. So you mean you guys actually need to have some aim and you actually need to be semi-good? Hmm, okay. <laughs> All right. Some of the shots that you can play when you have sweepers, you can't even play those shots in the, in the wheelchair game. You have to play a wheelchair game, which is a lot more simple than, than a game with uh, with able-bodied people or with sweepers, so it's definitely a totally different strategy and a totally different game than we play. The sweeping is really uh, precise and, and uh, it makes all the difference uh, to the the way the rocks go. and. And when you don't have that, it's all on the person who uh, throws the rock. And uh, for that, uh, uh, they need to be complimented on uh, putting forth the kind of effort they do. We've played together for a number of years, but only for bond spiels and playdowns because, of course, all four of us live in four different areas of the province. Even though we know each other really well and we're bonded as a team, it does still make it a bit challenging to come to a big event like this you know, from our separate areas and play together for the first time. I played with Jim Armstrong, who was a six-time six briar curler, and he said he never practiced so much in his life as he did once he got in the wheelchair, because you're just sitting on the ice. It's much easier on your body, because you're just sitting there sliding the ice. And it's like, it's like playing shuffleboard. What's the next plan if you win? Well, we go to the Nationals in uh, Quebec. So this year, Curling Canada is piloting a 14-team format for the Canadian Wheelchair Championship. So BC will be sending two teams. Um, so the top two teams from the BC Wheelchair Championships will be going, uh, which is very exciting for us. We're really excited to be able to send uh, two teams there. It's going to be great. We do need more women players because as a mixed team, um, you've got to have at least one woman um, on the team, if not two, if, but... Um, and preferably one who can play well, right? Well, exactly. These things are heavy. It, it's not as easy as it looks. I'm Leah Bolton. You're watching Fraser Focus. Stay with us. Mm -hmm.